I went to uh, college at LSU in Baton Rouge, and then I went on to medical school in New Orleans, and then I came to Shreveport and did uh, surgery uh, residency in Shreveport. When I was an intern, we rotated through all the different specialties, and I got when I rotated through surgery, I just uh, I knew that's what I want to do the rest of my life. So I, I finished up my surgery residency, and uh, I came to Spring Hill, and for about 30 years I did uh, general surgery of all kind, big cases, small cases, and then about uh, about six years ago. I reduced my practice to uh, mostly endoscopy, you know, scopes, gastroscope, colonoscopes, to minor surgery, and, and also a lot. I do a lot of skin, skin cancers, and skin surgery. But I don't do the big surgery cases now. We, we have another general surgeon that does those. I came to Spring Hill because I was born and raised in Spring Hill and uh, I wanted to come back home. We wanted to raise our children here because my wife's parents were here, my parents were here, and we wanted our kids to have an experience with their grandparents. Also, I had become friends with Dr. Swalla, and Dr. Swalla's in practice here, and he, and he kind of talked me into coming to Spring Hill too. So it was kind of a combination of family and then, uh, and then, of course, also back then, Spring Hill was booming. It was wide open. The paper mill was going wide open. So it was a real, real good opportunity to do a lots and lots of surgery. So the opportunity was part of it, too. I like the small town hospital because we know everybody knows everybody. And uh, we can do pretty much what the big hospitals can do. But uh, they're just, I think there's a better uh, chemistry in a small hospital. Uh, uh, we we know all of our patients. They're all family and friends that we treat, and it's a different chemistry than the big hospitals in, in the big cities. And and I just like the small town setting. Patients that seem to uh, be grateful for us uh, helping them and and helping them get over whatever you know complaint they have. The ones that show that gratitude. Uh, it, it, it always pleases me. That's the kind of folks that I like to work with. They probably should know that uh, used to I did a lot, a lot of family medicine, but now basically I just do the consults for the sigmoidoscopy, colonoscopy, and gastroscope, and then anybody who's got a skin lesion or a small lump or bump, that's basically what, the, that's the things that I'll be treating. Um, I've always enjoyed people and when, when, when people, if the thing about surgery a lot of times you can see fairly quickly a good result or unfortunately sometimes not so good a result but I enjoy that turnover where you, you take, a, take someone with a mass or you take someone with a bad old skin cancer and you take care of it and they're all happy about it and uh, I just like to see the, the smiles on their faces when they, you give them a good pathology report and you know, things are going well and uh, and that, that always pleases me to see people happy because I really, you know, in, enjoy working with people. I, I treat uh, everyone the same and uh, being, a, uh, being a Christian uh, physician, I always try to treat everybody just like they're my brother, my sister, and I and I want uh, to let them know that I care about them. It's more than just a uh, treatment is some, there's some, some compassion and, and caring there. Most of the time now we uh, we chase uh, grandkids. We have grandkids playing soccer and softball and basketball and track, and then uh, we try to do that. And then uh, I love to follow LSU sports, football, and then uh, baseball. So. And then at, at home, I have a big yard uh, with flowers and stuff that I've just recently started uh, doing, but I stay plenty busy.